where I don't get dressed and just wear Crocs all the time. No, that is not material girl. energy. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden, took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips, took a little sip on. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden, took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips, took a little sip on. Took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip on. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip on. A little sip. Took a little sip. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip. 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 Took a little sip, 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 trying to scream um me and my best friend are on the way to do um what's it called we're on the way to go do korean barbecue real quick she's been wanting to go for a while and <coughs> I'm excited because I haven't had it in a long time. Last time I had it, I wasn't living in New York. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just doing like something very simple. This is where I'm sitting at. All this shit on the counter. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. You know, slight cute energy going, nothing crazy. We just going to eat and then we're going to go to like Family Dollar and all that because there's a hurricane coming and I just cannot believe how this month like flew by. Um, I think I've really just been taking my time, really like going day by day. I haven't been in a rush like I usually am. Um, so I really enjoyed this month. I've really been enjoying, like, just the vibe I've been in. I haven't been, like, super stressed out or anything. I've been doing good. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing to my hair. I'm just trying to, trying not for it to be looking like a complete mess. I'm actually ready to take this wig out and get another wig. Not right now, because, you know, rent do, rent do. Rent do, rent do, rent do. So, I need to, um, I don't know where my lash glue is. So, I'm 
gonna put on some lashes real quick, real quick. But I don't know where my lash glue is. And I was in Sephora yesterday and I asked the girl what um what lash glue she suggests. And she was like, girl, honestly, it was a black girl. She was like, girl, honestly, I would not buy lash glue here. I would go straight to the hair store and get hair um eyelash glue from there. And I was like, okay, I respect it. Thank you for being honest with me right now. Like, that ass. That's where I was going to go. But I just, I wanted to just get everything done in one trip, you know? So, um, if you're wondering, this is that Too Faced Better Than Sex um, mascara. This is the mini. Because one thing about me, I'm not about to spend all that money on something and I don't like it. Especially when it comes to like perfume and stuff like that so if you see me buying the travel size it's not that i can't drop 150 dollars on it it's just because i'm not trying to do that especially because i i'm one of those people where i like something but i'll switch up on something real fast and i'm not about to sit here and spend 150 dollars on something that i know i might not use often you know especially perfume like i want to switch up my perfume so so yeah so i'm just gonna finish my makeup and stuff because we kind of have to leave very soon um we're very punctual people and she was like you want to leave at four o'clock and i was like yeah let's leave at four so i think it's probably like 3 30 now so i'm like When I'm really going somewhere, my makeup be cute. This wing look like a 2010 wing. And the other wing look like I barely even. Just doing my vlogs. YouTube is a lot harder than fucking TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to be very honest with you. Like, editing these videos, losing files, and all of this shit. Like, really be pissing me off. But... At the same time, something crazy in my mind, like, makes me think that this is enjoyable, so I'm going to continue. Um, and then I just want to document, like, all the things that I'm going through. And then I'm hoping that I help somebody, you know, or inspire somebody to, like, start doing their content. Because they see how, like, crazy looking mine is. Like, start, start posting, babe. Never too late. I was supposed to been start. But I was afraid. But I'm not no more. So. Like this lace. I think this, this lace is in HD. Like they said. Um, my friend had replaced the lace on this wig for me. And. This shit will not stay on. Stay down. This shit will not stay down. So I'm gonna just spray my even. I cannot wait to get this. Um, I cannot wait for this other like spray to come that I bought from this girl on Instagram. She do hair in New York. Um, she be slaying the fuck out of the wigs. Her name is um, Slate by Jess, and she has like this lace dissolving, and she be doing hair on only like dark skin brown skin girl so i know that shit really be melting the fuck out the lace so she she did like a erica j level like literally got the foam for sale which is like i think it's was 15 dollars and then she has the lace glue for 15 dollars 30 dollars 25 dollars something like that and I finally broke down the board because I was like, this doesn't make no sense. Like, there's some days when I don't want to be gluing. And I don't know, my lace just be lifting up. Like, I'm just a sweaty girl. Very sweaty, sweaty girl. So, it's like no matter what I do, my shit lift. So, I'm going to take this. See this little flap hanging? Like, first of all, the whole lace is, like, questionable. But at least, we, least, least we could do is fucking spray this back down. And honestly, I need to wash this, like, a real good wash. 
but I'm not going to because I'm about to go put something else on in like another week. So I'm not a baby hair connoisseur. I'm working on it. But I'm gonna get there. Oh shit. Wrong spot. People hardly put themselves together out here and it drives me nuts. And I don't want to become a Floridian where I don't get dressed and just wear crocs all the time. No, that is not material girl. energy. I'm just going to brush that mousse in so I don't have all these flyaways sticking out. supposed to be like a category five and I'm like I'm like low key scared honestly like I I mean we have hurricanes in New York but not like Florida hurricanes so let's we'll see see how this shit go see how this shit go because they already shut down work for a lot of people like they haven't told towels I got from Bed Bath and Beyond let me show y'all have my regular towel sitting over above it but aren't these so cute don't worry about that i just clean my bathroom but aren't these so cute i don't have them really folded correctly obviously but yeah i love these towels i feel so I feel so fucking grown and important yeah yeah that bitch yeah yeah so let's see what fragrance we want to wear today. I think I want to wear my bag broke. I'm gonna fix it. Um, I think I want to wear. I don't know this Gucci Flora shit got me in a motherfucking choco, bitch. I think I'm gonna wear my Gucci Flora. And I don't really have a lot of body sprays, but I'm gonna put this over it. I know this don't last long, but still, it's a vibe. And then I'm going to put some earrings on. I'm going to get one of those, like, standing plastic things from Amazon. Everything is in my cart. So I'm just waiting. Just wait on it. Everything to fix this damn closet is in my cart. And I'm just going to buy $150 worth of shit, like, every, every week. But I'm also trying to help myself pay off this credit card I racked up some money on. So I've been kind of trying to like do one and one, one and one. Like 150 towards that, 150 towards this, 150 towards that. Save. And then the rest of my money be going towards like modeling and like um I have other earrings other than these. Like all I do is wear the same earrings. My money be going towards modeling and like Shit, I'll be getting involved in. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what shoe to put on. Which one goes better? I don't know. I kind of like the Tory Birches. I feel mad mature with the Tory Birches. I feel mature. I feel cute. Black doesn't really go, but it's still simple. I could do it. But then at the same time, like, I feel like the plastic clear ones is just too cheap. So I definitely want to wear those because the bag is already like, mm. And then these, these are cute. But I feel like they're just too simple. So like, I think I like this. I'm gonna wear this. 
maybe it's better y'all can see me from here like this open cut part you know so if you want to be extra you could pull it down but i'm going to korean barbecue so i'm just gonna do it like you know simple mad fucking simple which is okay so um yeah we're gonna go now so i will try to vlog while we're in the actual restaurant and show y'all korean barbecue okay. this is what i'm giving i still gotta waste i'm not gonna say gotta be i'm not gonna say gotta be but yes we at k pots like one of us still Come on, ambiance. Okay, good. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip on. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip on. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Okay, so she got the oil for the table, so we can um, oil the grill so our food doesn't stick to the grill. And then she got some dumpling and kimchi and fries and some. I don't know, I think that's a rice ball and some butter. And then probably some soy sauce in there. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. So we'll see. I got um I got a peach sangria. So we'll see when I get that. Right now, 
like my shit. Cook, 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 cook. Cook, 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 cook. Okay. It's good? What? Oh, it must be. You ain't say nothing yet. It was good. For food? Yeah. Okay. Like, it's just cooked meat. Like, yeah. I'm trying to make sure this beef is cooked. I know my chicken is cooked. I don't, I don't really know about nobody. I want to put the spatula in the middle. Outside cook stuff slowly. Oh, well, I didn't know. I thought that was the opposite. Okay. Am I cooling it around? Make sure this this don't look cool. That's what it is. Okay. Right. So I'm about to put I'm about to put this in there because I didn't really feel it. And I'll come back once my food is like done. All right, good morning. How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. If you don't know, my name is T. I am a dental hygienist and this channel is basically like about my life. That's all I be doing here is just doing that. So if you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. If not, thanks for coming to watch another video. So, today, we are going somewhere very close by. So, it's not like I have to rush. So, I really like that. I've been to this office several times, and I like this office, honestly. Um, the place I'm working at is only like 10 minutes from my house. So, I'm like in such a good mood because I don't have to wake up fucking 5 o'clock in the morning to get somewhere by 6 or 7. Like, Ugh, that that one that's the one thing about hygiene that I really don't like about in this area is like they don't have any late hours. Like occasionally I'll be wanting to work like a one to nine, a one to eight, a one to seven, or eleven to eight, you know? Hardly, hardly ever. If it is it's a ten to six and it's all the way like an hour from my house that have those kinds of hours. So Anyway, enough complaining about that. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, I might have already put my montage of me cleaning and stuff in the beginning of this part. I'm still getting used to like how to position the camera, so bear with me. I hope you can see me for real. Um, and what I was trying to say, today is Monday, September 26th. <sighs> September went by so fucking fast, bro. Like, it really went by mad fast. And I'm like so excited to see 2023 because not, I'm not in a rush. But 2023, the way I'm really stepping on niggas next, like the way I'm really about to be coming on Instagram, I'm really about to be coming on this social media shit. Like, I'm still living my real life though. Not not pump faking for the internet, but the way I'm really about to like tap in, really put the work in to really be like on top of my shit. Like the amount of photographers I have saved that I'm getting ready to unfortunately I have to pay for because you know un until it's a until it's a job, a side job, a hustle, it's a hobby. So I'll be having to pay for these photographers. Some of them I collab with, but most of them I have to pay for. So the way I'm about to be on my modeling and my social media influencer shit. Yo, like I'm so excited. Like social media is so fun to me and I certain ones you know there's certain apps that we be on that we just be like instagram be like mad tweaky like sis why is you selling me something every two minutes like it's really not that serious like 
I don't, I don't want to be part of nothing, and I don't care about your rice cooker ass. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just wish that they would fix that. Like, um, so my goal here on this channel is to really like just show you guys how I live my day, my everyday life. Um, you know, of course, make a little side money. You know, um, if it becomes a career, cool. If not, that's fine. You know, but make a little side money while I'm a hygienist. You feel me? I'm trying to build multiple streams of income. But also, like, just be cool with a group of people that I don't really know in real life. Like, just see how life goes, you know. Um, learn something from you all. You know, create a community because I have a close circle of friends, but I can't even call them too much friends. Some of them are like most like acquaintances, like homegirls. Um, Cause one thing about adulting, we all get busy and we all get caught up to the point that we have friendships that are like we talk to each other sometimes, we hang out sometimes, but we don't hang out all the time. Um, and we just kind of start to grow apart. And I feel like that's where I'm at with a lot of my friendships. Like we either grew apart. I moved away so we don't see each other as much and we don't talk as much. But in terms of like best friend, I only have one. My sister, maybe. That's it. My best friend, my one best friend and my sister are like the closest people to me. And my cousins that I live that live down here, like they're the closest people to me. That's it. And it's that doesn't mean anything bad. It's just like I really that ass don't have people I'm cool with like that. Cause one thing about me, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn with a Sagittarius house most of the time. And I have a lot of Capricorn and a lot of um if you're not into horoscopes then I know you probably like, bitch, what are you talking about? That shit ain't real. But I'm a Capricorn, but I have a rising Pisces sign. Okay, and then my moon is Taurus, okay? And then I have a lot of Sagittarius on my chart and a lot of Capricorn on my chart. So I'm like very, um, I'm very assertive, I'm very logical, I'm very practical, okay? So I don't like play around with my, with my circle, like my space. If you, if you bring in drama, you know, like, you know what I mean, like, if you have, you know those friends that you meet, that you like, okay, she cool, she cool, we can hang out, we can talk, you know, you trying to talk to her about something, and then all of a sudden it turns into like, you know, let's say the friend is Amanda, it turns into the Amanda show, it's like, bitch, we friends, like, it's supposed to be a reciprocated energy, like, you know you meet some, some people, it's just like, it's not fucking reciprocated. Like, I don't like that. Like, why are we friends? But you, I'm more of a friend to you than you are a friend to me. So instead of me just like sticking it out, like some females be doing, I be like, bitch, we can't be friends no more. Cause I don't feel, I don't feel like you love me like I love you. And I'm not about to waste my fucking time. Like, I'm not about to waste my time. I'm not about to mess with my energy. And if I feel like my energy is off, with you I can't sit here and pretend like I'm not a fake bitch like I can't be in your face acting like oh yeah we're cool like you know no it's okay and just keep like brushing shit off like if I want to fight you like you have to get out of my way you, I can't be around you because I can't pretend I cannot pretend like I can't pretend and there's certain things of course that can be worked out or like if it's a small issue or whatever and then this bitch, pack it up. What you just did was some real slime ball, grimy shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you know? I have the same, like, reaction with your friendships. Or you're, you're like, over the age of 21. And now you're starting to see, like, oh. Uh, yeah, some of these, these boys, these men, these girls, these women are not, like, good friends to me. Or you're going through a, a space in your life where you're elevating and now you're like losing friends like like really on some Drake shit like for real like 
I've been losing friends and finding peace. Like, I've really been losing friends and finding peace. Like, I've been really in a space where it's just me now. Like, it's either just me and my bestie or me and, like, one other acquaintance. And the other people that I'm meeting are, like, straight, like, modeling and influencer and, like, business networking opportunity people. Like... If it's not about tea on the rocks and, like, trying to really push my brand, Simply Ambitious and, like, all of that, I don't really be talking to nobody. Like, family, yes. I got a little group of friends that I'm, like, that I don't even have a group of friends. I have a homegirl here in Florida. And, like, we probably could kind of go out. But her schedule would be crazy. Mine would be crazy. And my cousins and my best friend. And we all have busy lives. So it's like, I'm mostly dolo. So, I just be here, like, just doing doing my business shit. Because I'm like, damn, like, I'm going to go to the, the solo date shit? Been doing that. Like, I've been doing the solo date shit. Like, I moved here by myself. I've been doing the solo date shit. Like, no funny shit. Like, that's all I be doing. I be by myself all the time. So anyway, it's 7.48. My first patient is at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm about to listen to my horoscope on Spotify. I listened to um, Capricorn today on Spotify. Yeah, I hope y'all can see that. But I listened to um, Capricorn today on Spotify, um, on podcast. That's the what it's called, whatever. So I'm about to listen to that. And just like decompress and get my mind together before I go in here because I can't remember. But I think they scheduled me from like 8 to 5 with no lunch break. So that means I need to like be prepared to be running back and forth. And like I told you, like the assistants, excuse me, the assistants here, they don't really help me clean my room, but they'll help me with my instruments. But in general, like I'm going to really be running back and forth because I'm going to have to be cleaning up my room and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm going to listen to my horoscope. If I have a lunch break, I'll come back on here. If not, I'll see you guys when I get off of work. And we got a little errands to run today. We got to go to Walmart. We got to go to... We got to definitely go to Walmart. Because there's a hurricane coming. And I want to get, like, Bunsen burners just in case we can't use our stove. Because our stove is electric. And... I need to buy water from Walmart. I think that's it. Because we got food already. And all of that. And I'm going to just try to like. Yeah. So some errands. So I'll be back on here. Girl. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready for this hurricane. I, I. I didn't know that it was like. Getting this severe. Like. They shut down. They shutting shit down. Like Walmart. Like I went to just go get a pack of water. I've been kind of prepared since Saturday. But, why Walmart got us standing in line for water? Like, oh, this is, this is real. Like, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared, bitch. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you live in a disastrous area, well, not disastrous, but a place that can have, like, shit happen, comment below because I've lived in New York my whole life. I lived in Connecticut. I lived, I dibbled and dabbled in Atlanta but I've never dealt with a hurricane so I'm like I'm low key scared bitch like if the power go out and there's no water what am I about to do like it's only but so much Uno books in Connect 4 I'm about to play like speechless right now like I don't know what to fucking do like like y'all niggas got me fucked up so you know I got the essentials I got snacks <laughs> I got chips, I got dip, I got, I got Perrier, I got water, and I got those little burners that you put under to warm food whenever you have a party. I got those because 
I don't want to wish that on us, but I know our power is going to go out. And I don't know how long our power is going to go out. So, I'm like, I have an electric stove, so I, I got to finesse it jug. Like, I got to figure out what I'm going to do. So, I was like, friend, let's just put the Bunsen burner things underneath a foil pan and heat that bitch up when we want to heat up food. And if we got to wash our body, because water cut off, we got water bottles. We just wash, wash our body with the water. You know, flush the toilet with the water. Like, and I'm going to try to get one more pack of water for, um, a one more pack of water. But you should see, you should see these shelves in Walmart. Like, it took me 20 minutes to find a cart. I was going to bring the camera with me, but no. The way that they was acting in Walmart, you would have thought there was like some fucking like, like it is an emergency. But, and it, the hurricane isn't getting like better. It's worsening. It's getting, the pressure is getting worse. Like it's worsening. So, they have all right to be acting like this, but then still, you know, like why y'all stocking up on toilet tissue and paper towels? Like it's always toilet tissue paper towels, juice, and ramen. Why y'all do that? Huh? The toilet tissue and the paper towels is not gonna save you. When the hurricane comes, all that shit is gonna be wet. Why? What are you gonna do? If shit really get crazy in this emergency, you gotta wash your ass and wipe your ass, wipe your face with rags and towels. That's it. All that other shit is not going to fly. So, I don't know. I just got me mad. So, yeah. Just spent like an hour and 20 minutes in Walmart to get like 10 things. And then, Walmart needs to really like get that Apple Pay shit because this Walmart Pay shit is so annoying. Because I clicked it, right? I clicked the Walmart Pay shit. And then, I'm ready to pay. Got my stuff. Do scan day whatever and you know how the water you can't pick it up so i just like you know scan scan scoo -doo -doo -doo, right bitch i get to the door the door lady she like let me see your receipt so i pull up my app i'm like yeah good whatever i'm good she like where's the water i was like right there she was like where i see the perrier but i don't see the the, the aquafina you got and i don't drink aquafina i just got this because that's all that's available no shades, Aquafina. I just, I just don't like it. It just tastes weird. Anyway, so I'm like, bitch, you really about to send? Me? You know what? You right, cause that's stealing if I leave without paying for this technically. But that's not my fault. Your raggedy ass. Everything else scanned. Why did this not scan? Like I was so mad. So anyway, that 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 was that's how I spent my after work afternoon. So now I'm on my way home, about to bring this stuff in the house, try to relax for a second, and just like decompress, try to relax, try to usa because that little moment kind of like got me in my feelings. Like, why y'all fighting over water? Why is there a line for water? Like, this is giving COVID vibes. Like. And I don't want to go back there. <laughs> nah. 2020. I thought we left that in 2020. Like, I'm not trying to go through that again. Like, no. So, um, I hope you're having a good day. I hope y'all are, you know, enjoying your day. If it's not going well for you, I hope that this is inspiring you and making you feel, like, happier, more excited. I hope I'm entertaining. Please interact with me. Comment. Like, tell me what you want to see. Or... Just like, just talk to me in the comments, cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to really see where this goes. <laughs> um, hey girl, hey, how you been? Why is today Monday, October third, and I'm on my way to work? I know I have not come on a vlog in a minute, but I was just, I wasn't doing shit really. I was in a little bit of shenanigans my little yay yay but um in general i wasn't really doing too much i was actually taking this time to just like 
relax and just taking this time just to like relax and um just connect you know with myself and just like be in my own vibes because we had that hurricane come through one of the worst hurricanes ever um hurricane ian and thankfully none of my family and my loved ones were directly affected but i just i'm seeing all the damage that has happened to the neighborhoods and just like water still sitting and um you know social media and then like other people who live in other areas telling me what's going on and just the flooding the flooding was so bad here in florida so it was my first storm um i survived i was so anxious but thankfully like like i said everything is good so i was just kind of like processing that and i wasn't really doing anything that needed to be vlogged i was really just staying um i was really just staying inside you know trying to entertain myself watching movies you know if the, when the power went out for a quick second i was just like reading a book on my phone and like hoping my phone didn't die because and have to use my backup battery pack but anyway i hope you guys are doing good um i'm like at the point now where i don't give a fuck like i i really never gave a fuck but like i don't give a fuck so much that i don't care whose feelings i'm hurting i'm I don't care who thinks anything about it. If they think that's what it is and it's not that, I don't have to say anything. That's what they think. Um, I don't have to. I don't have to question it. If I know in myself that this is what I want to do, as long as it's good, obviously I'm not trying to have anything to harm anyone in the process and be bad. Like you know what I mean. But I'm not saying I'm morally not giving a fuck. But you know what I mean. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Like. So what you don't like what I do? So what? Bitch, what the fuck? Like, I'm no longer afraid to just be me and be me. Like, that's where I'm at with it. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm letting, I'm letting God take control of my life. Because I be wanting to be in control all the time. And I'm just doing me. I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm really vibing. I'm doing me. I'm in my vibe right now. Like, you cannot kill my vibe. Like, that's, that's straight up and down all it is. And if I want to be by myself, I go out by myself. If, if I don't want to go out, I'm not going out. Like, there is no, like, in between with me right now. I'm either with it or I'm not. Like, I'm going with the vibe. That's what I'm doing. So... I've been really enjoying the space that I'm in. Like I said in the last vlog, I feel like things are just like coming together. Um, I talk my hands a lot. I don't know. I just that's just what I do. And I gained a little, a little, a little eight to ten that I can start seeing now, and I really don't like that eight to ten that I gained. And then also, I just don't feel healthy, like. You know, you just feel like, like inside, I could just tell my cells are like, bitch, where is the vegetables? Where is the water? Why you haven't worked out? Why you not walking? Like, I, did, I feel like my cells are dying. Very dramatic. But that's how I feel. I feel like my cells are dying. And so, I'm going to purchase the Bougie Hippie Detox. And I will let you know, probably not in this vlog, but the next vlog. Um, I will purchase purchase the Bougie Hippie Detox. If you don't know what that is, I'm not sponsored or anything. Go check it out. Um, you must have seen it on Instagram a few times, but um, it's advertised by Supercent because her best friend's um, company. And it's basically just like detox pills, tea, you know, kind of thing, thing, thing. And it just to flush you out, you know, and it just get rid of that quick water weight. And then once I'm done with the water weight, um, while I'm dealing with the detox and the water weight, I plan on drinking more water. Like I, I have to drink. I drink water all the time, but like really consciously trying to only drink water. Um, and then going back to like my slightly keto diet because before this, the past like maybe four or five months, I just eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. Like. 
like feeding into my cravings. I haven't been curbing my appetite at all, so I'm like, I need to get serious. But I'm like really trying to pursue my my modeling career, and I have an image, unfortunately, fortunately, an appearance, an image that I have to uphold. So yes, I'm a thick girl. Yes, natural bodies is in, but I also need to look healthy. You know, I need to feel healthy. I need to feel good. So anyway, photo box, but tea on the rock. So I can put the drink, the drinks in the box and take pictures of them. So it's not a background of my whole apartment while I take pictures. Um, what else did I do? So that's going to happen sometime this week. I have a Halloween event coming up. I'm not too sure if the event is going to happen next week because of the hurricane. And like what, what if we're going to just postpone it a little bit. But if so, that's still happening next week. Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm an influencer, so I have to, like, be on my shit. <laughs> but, yeah, so it is 7.41. <clears throat> I am literally almost down the street from the place I'm working today. And we can't really do too much because we pay rent, so... <laughs> We dealing with that. I still need to organize my closet, but Amazon got me in a show call and I'm trying to back up off of her a little bit. So yeah. Um nail appointment Thursday, cause this I need to fill in. Like nails is lifting. It's been it's been over a month, so it's expected. Um I just didn't have time and then the hurricane happened once I had my appointment. So yeah. So, nails definitely make a toe appointment. I'm going to sit down and write all of this down, like, officially. Like, I have a to-do list, but I'm going to write it out. And then, what else? I have not been on the lashes thing lately. I, I'm, I'm good off the lashes right now, because, I don't know, I've just been fucking with, like, my natural lash, my mascara. Y'all feeling my masky? Y'all feeling the masky or nah? Y'all like it? <laughs> My eyeliner is a little bit too thick, but you know when you like go over the line and you just like fuck it. I'm just go with that. Like, I'm just going with it. I know some of y'all probably like tea. No, when, it, when it's messed up, I actually do wipe it off and take it off. I was gonna be late for work. Y'all don't want me to, y'all want me to be late? We being responsible out here. So this is how we look today. It's Monday. You have a problem with it? Get lost. Half of y'all wear cracked outside anyway. So y'all have no time to be talking about my lashes or my, my eyelashes and all of that shit. But I definitely need to go get my brows done. Because I tried to shape them myself. and I might be a licensed esthetician, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just went to school for it. Alright, I'm going to get off the vlog. I've been so sleepy lately. And I had three days off of work because of the hurricane. And I'm like, I could go to sleep. Like, a bitch is a vampire. I could live in a motherfucking coffin if you wanted me to, okay? <laughs> nap queen, like. I am the nap queen. I could take naps. You see the crown? The nap queen. Seriously. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm asleep. I don't care what's going on outside. A hurricane, a tornado, a tsunami. A bitch is asleep. Like, out the other night. If I can, I'm gonna insert a clip. <laughs> I went out the other night with this dude I met. He looks so insane. He ain't nobody to be pressed over. Like, none of the niggas I talk to is pressed energy. Like, you know, like only one is like really applying pressure but be fucking for real like me in a relationship no like unless he was like I'm not gonna say too much but yeah like I'm not feeling him like that I don't think I feel him like that I think he feel me like that but I don't feel him like that so, and he knows that. Like, anyway, I'm gonna get off the vlog, like I said two minutes ago. And if 
when anything exciting happens, I'll come back. I've been trying to make these weekly vlogs, but we'll see. Maybe not a weekly vlog, maybe an every two week vlog. That lady that, that lady, like that mother that like, will talk on the phone with you and be like, all right, so bye. But what you doing tomorrow? Okay, all right, so talk to me later. All right, but wait, did you, like bitch, get off the fucking phone. Stop talking. You said bye three times. Shit. Get off my jack now. Like you done talking, right? Get off. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money move If I see you now speak, that means I don't fuck with you I'm a boss who I work